It's 3 o'clock, time for the Hour of Mercy broadcast here on Annunciation Radio. Thank you for joining us. We'll begin first with the recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Following that Mass recorded this morning at Rosary Cathedral, the 7 a.m. Mass from Rosary Cathedral this morning. Mass is celebrated at Rosary Cathedral each weekday at 7 a.m. You are always invited to attend. We thank Monsignor Kabaki for allowing us to record that Mass and play it back at this time each day uh, for all our listening audience. Following that, Sister Ann Shields in the program Food for the Journey, all of that happening this hour on Annunciation Radio. Thank you again for joining us. If you have a prayer request that you would like to have included in today's Divine Mercy Chaplet, call right now if with your prayer request that telephone number 419 868 2966 419 868 2966 anything on your heart and mind I promise you this is a wonderful way uh, to get a whole lot of folks praying with and for you in agreement with you on your prayer request during this time of grace and mercy you'll call you'll speak with Tim our producer Tim will write your prayer request down and bring it into the studio for us to include you will not be going live on the air, uh, and he will uh, talk you through that process again. 419-868-2966. And with that, we will begin with our prayer requests for today. Robert asked for prayers uh, for his son, uh, that he will return to the Catholic Church and also uh, find a job. And so, Father... I thank you for Robert. I thank you for his son. You know the plan and the purpose that you have for Robert's son. I thank you that you are walking with him. I ask that you would give him wisdom and discernment during this time. And continue to pour out your, bra- your grace upon him. We know, Father, that you are already providing grace sufficient uh, for Robert's son to come into relationship with you. The invitation is a standing invitation You stand at the door and knock, waiting for him to open. We would ask for special opportunities for that grace to be poured out into his life, that his heart would be opened, and that he would enter into that relationship with you. And in doing so, uh, that you would lead and guide him in the way that he should go. Helen has asked for prayers for her son Isaiah, who's struggling with addiction. Father, I thank you that Isaiah is fearfully and wonderfully made. I thank you again for the plan and the purpose that you have for his life. And I confess, and you know, Father, that addiction, drugs, alcohol, pornography, whatever that addiction is, that is not part of your plan and purpose for the life of Isaiah. I thank you that you are giving him opportunity to overcome these addictions. I ask that you would continue to stir in his heart and mind the love that you have for him. We pray against those evil spirits that have come against him, those things that he has either voluntarily attached himself to or things that have been introduced into his life. Father, I know your desire for Isaiah is that he have right relationship with you, that he spend eternity with you in heaven, and that he live a full and bountiful life even here. You tell us that you have come that we might have life and have it in abundance, Jesus tells us. We thank you for sending your son that he might die for us, that we might be truly free. And Father, I speak that prayer over Isaiah, speak it in, in, uh, in union with his mother and all of his family members and everyone who is crying out for this freedom for Isaiah, for Isaiah that he might be truly free. Brenda's asking for prayers for her brother Michael, who has COPD and has been struggling to breathe. Father, again, I thank you for the way that you put us together. I thank you for the beauty of the body and all of the organs that you have given us. You know the difficulty associated with uh, our function as human beings when one of these areas goes bad particularly in the area of breathing. As we breathe in and we breathe out these mechanisms that you have so carefully constructed. Father, I just pray that you would give Michael new breath, that he would find new strength in you, that you would bring about a healing in his lungs and that he might be uh, able to breathe more easily. 
And Father, that in the midst of this breathing in and out, in this discovering, uh, only when we struggle do we realize how important these functions are for us. Father, that as you give him some relief, that he would know it is you who are providing the relief. That it is you who are breathing in and out for him. And that he would discover you in a more intimate and new way in the midst of this. We thank you that you are our heavenly physician. We continue to pray for all of the souls. Now 50,000 have been numbered among the dead in uh, Turkey and Syria right now. Father, we ask for uh, the repose of their souls. We ask for comfort and peace for all of those who love them. We pray for those communities who have lost so much. We pray for a generous spirit of everyone who can help, that everyone would come forward and help. We thank you for the renewal that seems to be happening in various places throughout our country and throughout our world. We pray, Father, that through the death and resurrection of your Son, through his life, through his shedding of his own blood, that your Spirit would come anew upon us and that we would be strengthened and then called forward to minister in your name in a new way, in a way that can be heard, in a way that can be received by all of those who are broken, all of those who are lost. We pray, especially today, as Helen asked for Isaiah, we ask for all people who are addicted right now, Father, to be made free, that your spirit would stir up within them this longing for freedom. We know that the thing that we search for and so often find in all the wrong places and doing all the wrong things, that at the end of the day, each one of us, what we are searching for is you. You are the only one who can fill that up in us. And I pray that many, many, even now, even today, those names that are on the hearts and minds in each one of us, as we come to prayer today, say them aloud. We all say them aloud together to you, Father. You know they are on our hearts and minds, that they would be made free, that they would discover you in the midst of searching in the darkness, that they would find the light and that you would help us to be good ministers in your name to lead many people into relationship with you. For all of these prayers, those that we've spoken aloud and those that we carry about within us in the deepest recesses of our own hearts and minds, those things that cause us pain, those things that cause us anxiety, we bring them all confidently before your throne as we pray today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. St. Faustina, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this Praying of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. If you have a prayer request that you would like to share with us, you can email that to us anytime at chapletprayer at gmail.com. Chapletprayer at gmail.com. Now, Mass followed by Sister Ann Shields and the program Food for the Journey. 